Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to do a 30 minute indoor walk with light dumbbells. Now don't worry if you don't have any weights or any dumbbells at home, you can do this workout body weight. That is fine too. So we are going to do intervals of 30, 30 seconds today. So that means no rest. You can use the walk as a bit of active rest. Okay, so it's not like you have to your shoulders or your hips or your tummy muscles will be um, working intensely throughout the whole workout. So we can use the walk as a little bit of active rest if you want to. You can use the weights for just the full body moves and put them down for the walking section if you want to, okay? Now we're, we're going to do 12 exercises. Have a small water break because there is no rest between the exercises. We'll have a, a water break at 12 minutes and then come back and do another round of it. So 24 minutes plus your warm up. Okay, let's get going with this warm up. All right, that's it. Now just walking forward, walking back. If you don't have any space, just stay on the spot, but make sure you get those arms going now as well. That's it, forward and back. Good, forward and back. Well done. Let's do two more. Last one forward, last one back. Hold your place here and we'll just step out to the side. Good. And let's reach over the head. Well done. Good, nice big reaches. Take in some air now. Nice big deep breaths for me. Keep your spine nice and tall, okay? You should feel a stretch going on there in your trunk, in your tummy muscles there that you know you're keeping your spine upright. That's it, good work. Nice uh, flexibility and mobility here for the upper half while we keep the lower half moving too. So all four limbs getting us nice and warm, getting their heart rate up. That's it, getting those blood circulating to all those muscles. Big deep breaths for me now. Let's hear that exaggerated breathing. Take in that air, fill up your lungs and blow it out through your pursed lips like you're blowing out a candle. I want you to try and remember that throughout the whole workout. That is hard, I'll do my best to remind you because you're so focused on what's coming next. Good, that's it. Now let's do four, three, two, and one. Now knee up. Come on, let's work those hip flexors and stretch out those glutes as well. Knee down nice and low if you can't lift it too high or it makes you arch your back or hyperextend your spine. Keep the knees below the belly button. But if you can bring them up over the belly button, you feel a nice stretch there in your glutes. That's it, good. Driving those arms to keep that heart rate elevated. Good work. Keep on going for me now. That's it, well done. Now let's crisscross in front. Crisscross, good. Keep the knees coming up, that's it. Good work, keep moving. Good. Can you come off the spot? Work the room, watch you don't trip over your feet. Other side, that's it. Good work, take it back to the middle. Now hold it here, now four, three, two, hold your position, reach across, reach and reach and reach again, stretching out that trunk area. Good work, keep moving, reach right across. You might find you can reach a little bit further as you go through the moves. That's it, nice stretch. Feeling it from your armpit down towards your hip. Good, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do some stationary walks, okay? Good. That's it. Now what we're doing here is we're warming up the ankles, the calf muscles, and we'll keep the arms moving just to keep the heart rate up somewhat, okay? That's it. Good. So you're feeling some nice work going on there in the lower half. Just up and down, up and down. Now I want you to lift up onto your toes, lift up, do a bicep curl or a hammer curl. Good. Can you reach up to the ceiling and stretch out that body for me? Reach up. Good. Reach up. Wake up all those muscles. Up and down. Reach up. Feeling those calf muscles become, coming alive now. That's it. Good. 
Reach right up. Great work. Two to go. And last one. Now we just finish out here with some rainbow legs or some hip openers. You can rest your hands in front just to loosen out the hip a little bit. That's it. Good. And again, if you can't reach up this high, it's causing you to fall over. First of all, you can hold on to something um, or you can just come down a little bit lower. You just don't have the mobility to do it. Around and around. Good. Up and around. Just imagine you're drawing a rainbow as the name suggests or a semicircle. I don't know, with your knee or your toe, whatever you can visualize it best with. That's it. Good. And let's do four and three two and one now i'm just going to get you to go back into your stationary walks i want to show you what move is coming in the second portion of um, the second part of the minute so 30 second walk so the second part we are going to just step across the room and do some shoulder press okay if you find that's too hard weights just run them by your side okay or leave out the weights like i say you don't have to have weights all right let's go we're going straight away now have some water handy for your water break okay now the first part's a walk so we're going to walk for 30 seconds you can leave out the weights if you want to like i say for the walk or you can bring them in for added resistance whatever you do i want you to engage your core i don't want you to be feeling twinges in your lower back at all that's it. good drive those elbows back now you can feel a nice stretch in your shoulders when you do that let's make our way over now because we're going to step across the room and add in some shoulders next okay let's go shoulder press now you're going to there's going to be lots of stepping type moves today because it's a walking workout so can we get your steps up today if you're using a fitbit we'll see what how well you can monitor it and see how well you do good and you can include that warm-up <laughs> don't forget to include that warm-up it's very much part of your workout Ooh, feeling those shoulders Keep going, we're just there. Well done, let's walk again. Now the next move, you keep your mar marches or walking going, I'll show you the move. We're going to just, we're going to step forward, sideways steps, and punch out, okay? And punch it out, all right. So we'll be enjoying the rest here for the shoulders because we're bringing them back in now. That's it. Keep breathing for me now. Nice, big, deep breaths. Get that air, they get that oxygen in. Good work. Now sideways, get the legs first. Step forward, step back, and then punch. That's it, and punch. Punch out. Good. Keep those legs going. Slight bend in the knee. Head held high to the ceiling. That's it. Still feeling those shoulders from stepping across the room with shoulder press, I am. Good. Punch out. That's it. Keep going, come on just there that's it okay let's walk again now you can make your walk bigger if you like you want to exaggerate it pretend you're walking up giant steps or up a big incline that's great that works well with the other side to do now with the side steps and punch out that's coming next good come on drive up do you feel that nice stretch in your glutes working those hip flexors a little bit more there we go just there now okay well done now ready side stepping so we get the feet down first that's it don't rush into it okay now get ready to punch and punch and punch good work and punch punch it out good use your breath to punch that's it let's hear some breaths nice power in those punches good work well done that's great let's walk again now we have our grapevine coming in today i like to include that in the walking workouts i'm not including arms particularly with weights because i think grapevine is complicated enough so it's just feet behind feet together all right if you want to you can make your way over let's speed up our walk a little bit if you can with your weights five seconds good okay now get your feet to x behind you feet together x together feet behind or foot behind together 
that's it keep those weights out in front in goblet that's it great nice big leg moves here really working the inner and outer thighs and moving laterally which is great to be able to move laterally because we tend to just move forward and back all the time particularly if we go outside for walking good okay let's bring it back now to our marches that's it good brisk walk this time we have some step touch coming next and bicep curl so you continue with your walk step touch and bicep curl and you notice the elbows stay tucked in all right okay let me finish out my walk with you head is nice and high to the ceiling always remember that string coming out of your head holding you high step touch bicep curls that's it good now this is one where you get lots of steps in because it's kind of a, an up tempo fast type move with the legs but I want you to really focus on contracting your biceps. We've got a pair of weights in our hand, let's make the most of it. <clears throat> of course, you can always slow down, step touch. That's it. And contract, bring those weights up towards your shoulders. Good work. Let's walk it again. Now, you keep walking. Next move, low step backs. Now, this is quite a challenging move because your muscles are never getting a rest for the whole 30 seconds. And if you can't do it or your knees just don't allow, come up tall and just step back, okay? And you can bring in your tricep pushback or kickback as well. Okay, a few seconds left for me. Good. Now, step it back, go low or come up higher. You can mix between the two, but let's get some triceps going. Kick back kick back tuck the elbows in just like you did with biceps so we worked our biceps there and now we're going to work the triceps so we're we are balancing out the body opposing muscle groups good step it back down low here i'm keeping my quads and my glutes under tension they're not allowing them i'm not allowing them to have a rest okay now i will that brings my heart rate up because we're working big major muscle groups now we have a travel knee raise across the room this is a lovely fun move coming up next after our walk and again we're going to be moving side to side which is important okay good the human body is designed to move in different planes and we should include them while we work out well let's move over now up up and we're going to hammer curl the arms good i'm bringing in some purpose with these arms now up up good driving that knee up and squeezing my tummy muscles i'm going to get the most out of this 30 seconds here that's it you should too so abs biceps getting the heart rate up that's great all in 30 seconds keep going we're just there back to the middle okay let's walk again that is great work now next one we're just going to do forward and backward walks but I'm going to bring in uh, some arms to this. So we're going to hammer curl, hammer curl, punch down, punch down. So two and two, okay? If you find it's too complicated, just stay on the spot. That's it, good. How are those shoulders feeling? Feeling those weights with the walking as well? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay, forward walk. One, two, down, down. You can stay on the spot if it's too complicated for you down down if you want to move off the spot i think moving off the spot just kind of raises that heart rate a little bit more good so you're adding a little bit of intensity to the workout but it does make it a little bit complicated for the brain <laughs> okay so choose what you want to do down down one two and down and down okay we're back to walking we have our twisting knee drives coming next word of warning watch if you're using dumbbells these are one kilogram and they are quite heavy for this exercise so you're twisting keep walking twisting twisting and twisting if it doesn't feel right for your back put down the weights okay keep your knees down lower too that'll help you there just there now okay let's go twist twist now I want you to really engage your tummy muscles here. Pull your belly button to your spine. 
hold that engagement feel those obliques or your waistline muscles working you can bring the weights up higher if you can so your shoulders and your upper body will be working against gravity there that's it good keep breathing you need to get that air in get that air out okay well done that was a tough one now we're doing a side lunge one side step back that's coming next okay one side okay stay on one side all right we go for a little sort of little jog here I'm not coming I'm, because I've got weights I'm not going into a full jog you can put the weights down if you want to just take this into a jog okay side lunge step back now you don't have to be going into deep lunges like that you can just step back into a modified lunge modify your side lunge that's it good just using the weights out in front here as a little bit of resistance good side lunge step it back side lunge step it back Will we get one more side and step that's great okay let's walk again feeling very stretched there I, I certainly do okay nice tall spine again shouldn't really see the floor here now throughout your workout look straight ahead you can take that up into a nice little foot skip skipping type move just gently toe to toe I know some of you are telling me you're able to take it up into a jog now with the walking intervals that's amazing well done to you side lunge step back side lunge lunge or step back good side and back good side and down and down good keep your posture up nice and tall that's it okay well done now we're on to our last move we'll have a little break after this minute we have some knee raises and pushing the arms down okay so a nice upper body move coming next again if you want to take this up into a light little skip skipping type action there skip, skipping type move go ahead that's it keep breathing this will bring your heart rate up a little bit for you and so will this <laughs> down we go now again watch your back here you notice I'm bringing my knee right up even past my belly button if that makes you arch or lean back don't do that down nice and low good come on let's work those upper halves upright like an upright row type move feel those posture muscles working that's it contract contract release but not all the way keep your muscles under tension and there you go Ooh, I'd say you'd be glad of it a little break let's take a little break now okay not for too long and I will see you back here for round two hello everybody you're very welcome back let's get on now with round two so if you're using weights let's go now if you're not body weight is fine okay start marching away there or walking all right good now like I was saying in round one if you want to try and do little jogging intervals you want to put the weights down for that and take it up into like a little jog I don't know how you feel jogging with weights just be careful okay you can mix between the two here now we're going to step across the room with shoulder press that's what's paired off with this walk here okay let's step across the room now shoulder press come on let's punch out that ceiling you can either do single punches like this or you can double it up whatever you like keeping your muscles guessing all the time is what keeps them progressing guess to progress that's it good never let your exercise routine get stale that's it. keep switching it up good work okay let's walk or jog again A little skip if you're feeling very energized for me I always get very energized about five minutes or so into the workout 
sometimes I feel like, oh, I don't want to do this today. Five minutes in, I'm like a different person, like a completely different person. That's it. So don't let the, your brain play mental games with you, I think, a lot. Right, let's step mambo. Mambo. Good. Like a mambo here. That's it. Good work. Forward and back. Chest is high. Come on, catch your breath here a little bit if you can. I know the arm is going to keep the heart elevated, elevated somewhat. That's the high arm. Keep going. Come on. You can do it. Okay, good work. Now we have to walk it out again. Now we have the other side to do because again, of course, we're going to balance out the body. That's it. Well done. Driving those arms by your side. You can take it up into an exaggerated walk. Pretend you're climbing up some steps here for a few seconds. That's it. Tall spine for me. Good work. Now we have the other side to do. So forward and back. Sometimes I feel like I have to get the legs going before I bring in the arms. Now I can do it. Punch out. Punch. Punch. Good. Punch. That's it. Well done. Punch it out. Good work. You can use the other weight there just to counterbalance the body. You can even hold it out to the side if you can. Or keep it tucked in if your shoulder's fatigued. That's it. Good work. Now let's walk again. We have those great vines coming after our walk. That's it. Come on. Drive those arms. Take it into a nice little mini jog if you want to. That's it. Again, if you find that's getting a little bit too intense for you, march it again, out again. Let's make our way over. Okay, great, fine. X the legs, bring them together. X the legs, bring them together. Just hold the weights out in front. That's it, in a goblet type position. It does encourage you to keep that chest held high, not bending at the waist. Good. I love the mambo move. Once you master it, it's such a lovely, you feel good doing it. It's a feel good move. That's it. Good. And across. And you, can, you start to get really confident with it and you start to bring in and make the move bigger then. Okay. When you get sure of yourself, let's walk again. Step touch, bicep curls is coming after this one. Good. That's it. Come on, let's speed up a little bit and we get a few extra steps into our day. Of course, if you take it up into a jog, you're going to get more steps in than somebody that walks. So. Okay, now let's step touch it. Another great one to get to build on your steps. And I'm going to make the most of it by getting my biceps worked. Good. Tuck the elbows in, that's it. Draw those weights up towards your shoulders. Squeeze, 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 that's it. Good work, squeeze. Come on, you're doing a great job. Well done, great work. Okay, now we have some low step backs coming next to after the walk. Great, five minutes in, round two. Good. Now, if you don't like the low step backs, I do understand they're very intense and as well, you might feel they're placing a lot of pressure on your knees. You just do it upright. Keep your body upright, okay? Keep going. We're nearly there. Okay. Low step back. So you're just, it's a lunge type position. You keep the chest upright and you're keeping, like I say, those quadriceps your thigh muscles, your glutes, and your abs. We're keeping them under tension the whole time. We're not letting them relax. And that's a great way to get strong, if you can do this. But if you can't, staying upright is good. As long as you're here doing the workouts, that's what counts. Okay, take it up into a little jog now. We have a travel knee raise across the room. I loved that one, round one. That was a great one. Nice bouncy, feel good move again, like grapevine. 
Good. Remember, these are short intervals, and it's a great way to introduce a little bit of a higher intense exercise into your routine if you wanted to, if you don't mind, if you don't mind uh, getting a little bit more breathless. Right, what did I say? Travel knee raise across the room. Okay, knee and arms. Come on, let's get those biceps worked again. Up, you can add a little bounce here if you want to. Again, the impact is quite low. Just don't trip over your feet there, particularly with weights. Up, stay stepping across if you don't want to add any bounces. Good, keep going, we're just there. We'll stay here now, that's it, okay. Forward and back walks, two out, two down. That's coming next. If you want to, you can do a full minute of that and get going with it now. Two out, two down, okay? Two out. I know from your messages that you're sending me that uh, you're actually progressing and you're adding on. That is great. Down, down. Now take the knees up and continue on. Two out, two down. Two out, two down. This gets you breathless, it really does. Up, up. You can go forward and back if you want to. Coming off the spot, two down. Good. Out, out, down, down. Push, push. Good work. Come on, stay with me. One. I know if you've done a full minute of it, you're feeling it like me. Ooh. Good work. Okay, now we walk again. All right. This is where the act of rest comes in. If you need to take a moment to catch your breath, just do a basic little march. If you feel okay, you want to take it up a little bit, go ahead. Only 15 seconds left, or even less. Now we have those twisting knee drives coming next again, so if you're feeling any twinges in your back, stay down lower, first of all, with the weights. Put the weights down even, I, do, I would suggest. You don't want to be feeling your lower back hurting here at all. Engage that core, now you should feel a good bit of tension or tightness across your belly button and below it. That's it, that means you're engaging your transversus abdominis and that's a really important muscle to work when you're exercising. That's it, good. It takes a little while to learn what that sensation feels like. Okay, let's walk. Keep forgetting, no rest today. Good. Nice and gentle, light on your feet. Pretend you've got those eggs in your shoes and you don't want to scramble them. Just always use imagery when you're working out because it really does help you to know what you're meant to do when you're working out. Other people find it a little bit tricky. Okay, side lunge. Sorry, I forgot to say it. Your side lunge, step back. Side lunge and step or lunge it back side and if you can't do deep bends just step it back so step to the side step it back can you get down to a little bit of a deeper lunge now that we're on round two even for a couple of reps that's great good work okay now we've got the other side to do okay i'm going to do a nice big exaggerated walk here now i'm going to climb my hill Good. Knees up if you can, keeping that back straight. So your muscles are fighting a lot here. They're fighting the weight of the legs and the weight of the arms because the arms are holding two dumbbells. So there's a lot going on here for you. Other side, side lunge. We're gonna try and get down a little bit deeper. Step it back. Side and back. Side. Remember, you can always use a sturdy piece of furniture to help you with any of the lunges that you see me doing here. Free up your arms from weights. Using a chair is great. Put weights, heavy weights, or he something heavy on the chair if you're lunging, because it might tip, or even get someone to sit on the chair, <laughs> okay? Sometimes I get my, my daughter say, stay on that chair there, I want to try a new exercise. So anyone that's willing to add a bit of weight, okay? Got some knee raises, 
and arm push downs to finish out this workout today and the sweat is flowing actually but hold, gripping these weights <laughs> we're falling out of my hands good okay now work your abs here push down got a lot to work here we're working the hip flexors tummy muscles still working that transversus because i'm engaging my core it isn't a muscle that we actually crunch it's it's a more of a muscle that provides stability for the body so by engaging our tummy muscles pulling it in you're activating your transverse and of course i'm really feeling my tra trapezius here okay and there you go well done well done and if you're not sure where your trapezius is it is your a large muscle group in your upper to mid back okay and it keeps our postures upright okay well done on today double double thumbs up to you and uh, make sure that you do hydrate now as well before and um, i know we had a small break there but make sure when you're finished your workouts that you get maybe a, a half a glass of water and that you're getting the water in try to avoid drinking glass after glass of water because i always find that you just end up running to the bathroom when you do that and you're losing everything that you're just putting it in it's coming out imagine your body is like a plant if you pour loads of water on a plant and you come the next day and you see the water sitting in the little tray underneath that means you've overwatered the plant you'll end up killing the roots doing that your body's the same you we just need to sip water throughout the day okay get your water in it helps to hydrate the muscles and as well make sure that you're eating lots of greens lots of your vegetables particularly the green vegetables like kale is in season now spinach um, asparagus and broccoli sprouts they're in season as well and they are all the they are the cruciferous vegetables so if you do have issues with your thyroid you have to be very careful with cruciferous vegetables they do tend to cause issues but as long as you cook them you can cook them and it does tend to make them a little bit less troublesome for your thyroid okay so just make sure that you do help you help your body recover by eating lots of the greens that grow above the ground and that is the likes of kale broccoli asparagus they're less they have less sugar in them than the vegetables that grow below the ground okay like your your root vegetables like beets potatoes we all know potatoes can are quite high in sugar particularly when you remove the skin off them you make them more readily available for digestion and therefore that will put you will be putting out more insulin with any foods that you make readily available for digestion you make you, 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 you cause your body to put out insulin at a much faster rate and therefore you put yourself into storage mode and you're storing your calories rather than using them for energy you get hungry quicker so therefore you eat more so just be aware of all of these things when you are choosing what foods to eat so less of the root type vegetables and more of the green and they also are great for bringing inflammation down in your body so if you're sore after a workout eat your greens it really does help you to recover right i will let you go i want you to do a cool down before you actually do lose the sweat on your skin so i will link up my playlist in the description box below this video for you big thumbs up to you thank you so much for joining me today and if you liked the video i'd appreciate a thumbs up because it really really does help that channel to grow. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.